guys welcome to my channel today i gonna tell you about the dc machines what is the destination construction working and applications of the dc machines uh, most of the students think that the dc machines are the most toughest topic but it's quite easy so let's discuss today what is about dc machines so let's see first of all what's the definition of the dc machine a dc machine is an electrical machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy generally what's what's meant by machine friends generally machine is nothing but a device which converts electrical energy that we supply or that is generated in it that converts it into mechanical energy in our dc machine the input electrical energy is the direct current which is transformed into the mechanical rotation here we can observe that the point input electrical energy we should give the input electrical energy in the form of a direct current to the dc machine that this dc machine will transform it into mechanical rotation okay next we will see the construction of the dc machine this is the quite simple and easy construction of the dc machine in the dc machine we have first of all yoke part and then we have poles the south pole north pole south pole north pole four poles we have and then it have a field winding you can see here blue lines which i have denoted to identify you easily so this is blue lines are called field windings and these uh, half triangles are the armatures and the dots which are represented in the purple color are the armature conductors and here the circle which is present in the middle of the dc machine is called commutator which is the rotating part of the machine and here the green colored rectangles or the brushes which are uh, have different use in a dc machine now let us see what are these yoke pole field windings armature armature conductors and terminal boxes etc we will study about each of the part then we can complete our construction or the working part okay this construction or working strength okay uh, here we the another point is when electrical current flows through a coil within the magnetic field and then magnetic force generates a torque that rotates the dc motor here when the coil rotates an electrical current generates in it which is in the form of the magnetic force that rotates the dc machine in the form of a mechanical motor now let's see the next point a dc machine consists of these are the parts of the dc machine that we have discussed before that is yoke pole pole shoe and the armature core field winding armature winding commutator brushes shaft and bearings now we will see in detail about each part so that we can complete our working and construction okay let friends first we have yoke what is yoke in um, the name indicates that we have egg no we have egg outer we have shell shell is also called as what yoke yeah this is the protecting layer to an inner part of the egg for basic daily use purpose i am telling okay uh, so let's see what is a yoke in our dc machine yoke is also known as a frame what is a frame the outer part of the object is called a frame so what is yoke the outer frame of the dc machine okay cover internal part of the machine yolk will cover the internal parts of the dc machine it's uh, the yolk is made up of silicon steel or iron this yolk has a great benefit which is like it is cost efficient this is all about the yolk then we will see about the pole and pole shoe first of all what is the pole that we have seen like north poles south poles in our um, previous south pole north pole before i had explained to you if you didn't see it please go back to the video and you can watch it this is the poles why uh, here the poles are laminated actually laminated because why we should laminate ma'am you lost because to 
reduce eddy current loss okay to reduce eddy current loss these are laminated and you can observe that on the previous video i have shown that uh it has a field winding blue lines you can observe that i have before explained you just two minutes before uh you have field windings this is the first point field windings are placed on pole and it is laminated to reduce eddy current loss produce magnetic flux inside the machine it will uh, these uh, poles produces the magnetic forces inside the machine this is all about pole and pole shoe Now we will see about field winding. We have we have told that on the poles winding is done. Field winding. What is field winding actually? Field winding is um is a winding wounded on the pole. Yeah, it is the it is a point where a pole is a winded, and here the winded is on the pole. Same point now. So winding wounded on pole. External DC source used to excite winding. Here we use external DC. Some machines we told na we give direct current. We di we give direct current in the form of the DC source. This is used to excite the winding. What is meant by excite winding? Excite winding means to process the given winding. This DC source is given in the form of a direct current to the DC machine. this is the important point in the field winding then uh, by which material field winding is made up of it is made up of copper or aluminium copper or aluminium next we will see about armature core what is armature core it is in cylindrical shape shapes and the here the main points are the shapes and the main another important point is the material is the main important point in the working of the this machines okay you should remember it quite enough in exams they will check these two points first then they will correct the paper okay next we will connect it to connect it to shaft with the key this is which is present in the middle of the dc machine that is a uh, the blue color part you can see as uh, c and up uh, here this is called the shaft of the dc machine ah uh, here Uh, the armature core is connected to the shaft of the dc machine here you can observe that the armature these are pink color lines this is connected to the shaft of the dc machine internally okay. rotating part of the dc machine rotating part of the dc machine you can observe that it is connected to the middle shaft so it is being to meant to rotate in the dc machine okay um now again came to the point like material Armature core is made up of cast iron and cast steel. It can be made with iron. It can be made with steel. This is all about armature core. Next, now we will see about armature winding. What is armature winding? Which uh, armature winding is placed in the slots of the armature? We have seen that what is armature? Armature is uh, like this in this form. Here two dots are present. What is this? Armature windings here. Armature windings are placed. What are the vacancy spaces? Are called slots. Okay, slots or spaces. So these spaces or slots are filled with armature winding. Now again, important point came that is made up of armature winding is made up of copper produces induced magnetic rotating flux. What is it? Induced magnetic rotating flux commutator what is commutator where is commutator present it is mounted on the shaft of the machine it is mounted on the shaft of the machine where now we will locate the point of the commutator so let's see the where is the place of the commutator this is a red one which is present near to the shaft is called the commutator okay what now why is commutator used it is Used to connect rotating armature conductor to the stationary external circuit. We have observed that in DC machine we have two circuits. One is the shaft part, and another one is the rotor that is rotating part. So to connect these both, we use commutator. Okay, this is the role of the commutator. Okay, this uh, commutator in DC machines it works as a rectifier. Okay, 
rectifier. Rectifier, rectifier means what? Which converts AC signal to the DC signal. Here it uh, converts AC torque to the DC torque. Okay. Next we will share about the brushes. Why, why do we use brushes? To carry currents from the armature conductors. We have observed that armature conducts are like this two dots. We have observed it in purple dots. These are called armature conductors. The, why the, uh, does the armature conduct uh, carry current now? So, to carry this current from armature conductors, we use this brushes because it is not easy to carry the current. So, uh, we use brushes to carry the current. This is a simple word. Okay. Why uh, now? Main important thing. What is the main point? Uh, how the brushes are made up of carbon okay next connected in spring and in rectangular shape here we can observe that brushes are in rectangular shape okay rectangular shape made present in the middle which carries current you can see here the purple lines are the currents which it carries by the brushes next um, what is the shaft what is the shaft transfer mechanical power DC motor what is that what is the form of a, a shaft in a DC motor is it uh, it transfers mechanical power from the motor to the load whereas in a generator it transforms the mechanical power from the load to the motor next we have the main important one which is the bearings used at the end of the shaft what is the end of the shaft meant by is this is the circle now dc machine in this in the middle we have the blue lines this is called the shaft here nearer to the end of it here bearings are the present next why do we use bearings we use bearings to reduce the friction in the machine because uh, if the friction increases then the machine can get a great damage okay so, to reduce the friction, we use bearings. Now, what is the material? Again, the important point came. What is the material made up of bearings? Carbon steel is the material. It is used for made of the bearings. We have different types of DC machines. So, um, in the, the four main DC machines are, one is separately excited DC machine, and second is shunt wound DC machine. And the third is series wound DC machine. And the fourth is compound wound DC machine. These are the four main important types of the DC machines. Now, we will see the EMF equation of the DC machines. What is the EMF equation of the DC machines? P pi by 1 by N is equals to N. That is, un, um, that is one, P pi by 1 by N. What happens if N comes to up? N P pi. This. Next. We will observe these in the number of armature conductors in the series. That is, P is equal to N by pi. Okay. Next, X, Z by A. Why do we written X, Z by A? What is meant by Z by A? Number of armature conductors in series. Okay. This is what is Z by A. That is, we had to calculate the formula of EMF for overall. Now, so to calculate overall, we use this formula. So, what are the uh, terms we will see now? P pi is the conductor flux within a single revolution. We want for overall revolution. So, rotation speed is n. Rotation speed is n. So, we calculate for n P pi. And here, E is the standard voltage for each conductor, number of conductors. Okay, total number of conductors is the Z value and P is the total number of poles. Now, we have the quite simple and easy applications of the uh, DC machines. One is for separately excited DC machines. We, have, we use these machines in the labs and also to supply DC motor currents. Okay, it's simple. Next, shunt on DC machines are used to charge a battery. Lighting purposes provide excitation to the alternator. And series one DC machine is used in locomotive for field excitation current and for regenerating backing. And also in booster in distributive power systems. 
this is all about the dc machine friends so if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon and i also keep the videos of the fourth chapter every video dc machines and electrical installations in bwe and also the fifth chapter so don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon thank you